Welcome back everyone to another video. We've discussed Thor's new axe Stormbreaker several times, but today we'll be addressing something about the weapon that we haven't before. Stormbreaker undoubtedly is one of the most powerful weapons in all of the MCU. It's second maybe only to the Infinity Gauntlet itself. At the end of Infinity War, we even got to see Stormbreaker and a completed gauntlet go head to head. This was done thanks to the ability that Stormbreaker has to absorb energy, something that we detailed earlier about Stormbreaker on the channel. But what if I told you guys this was only the cusp of Stormbreaker's power, and that the axe was capable of far more than this? What if I told you that Stormbreaker, if brought to its peak, could destroy planets? All of this could be true. Before we continue on though, I do want to remind you guys about the Infinity Gauntlet giveaway. The rules remain the same. To enter, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments below who you believe the most powerful MCU character is. I'm expecting some comments to change after this video. Again, as we've detailed before, Stormbreaker actually amplifies the very inherent powers of Thor. It's also far more deadly as a melee weapon than Mjolnir ever was. But what if I told you guys that these were some of the lesser attributes of the Stormbreaker Axe, and that these are only minor abilities compared to what it's truly capable of. The true power of Stormbreaker lies within its ability to call upon the Bifrost. Most commonly, the Bifrost is used by Asgardians for transportation. It's not inherently a weapon. We know in part why Stormbreaker is so powerful because it has this ability to call upon the Bifrost. To fully explain the power of the Bifrost, we have to venture all the way back to the first Thor movie. In that movie, we discovered that a giant machine is what dictated the Bifrost. It was this machine that opened up the portal, and that Heimdall was the protector of this portal. In very easy terms though, the Bifrost is a wormhole, and by the end of that film, Loki proves something interesting about the Bifrost in himself, that it's dangerous, and far more dangerous than Mjolnir ever was. In fact, the Bifrost is capable of destroying entire planets. Let's explain a little bit more. At the end of the Thor movie, it is revealed that Loki's plan is to open up the Bifrost and point it directly at Jotunheim. Of course, the home of the Frost Giants, and where Loki's true heritage lies. The Bifrost actually affects space and time, until an entire planet would be torn apart as a result of it. The Bifrost affects the very fabric of reality. Of course though, in the first Thor movie, Thor is able to foil Loki before he destroys the planet. But if Stormbreaker itself is capable of summoning the Bifrost, can't it destroy planets too? Well, the answer is probably yes. If Thor were to open up a portal using the Bifrost for long enough, he could theoretically destroy entire worlds, as again, it would affect space and time. However, it's unlikely that Thor has even contemplated this true power of his new weapon. It's unknown at this time if the Stormbreaker Axe has any limitations when concerning the Bifrost. We don't know if the Axe alone can conjure its true power, but presumably it can. Thus, why Stormbreaker is far more powerful than we all originally anticipated, despite it already being considered one of the most powerful items in the MCU. But leave your own thoughts on this in the comments down below, and do you believe that Stormbreaker can destroy entire worlds by using the Bifrost? I would love to hear your thoughts and theories on this topic in the comments down below. Again guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway for the life-sized infinity gauntlet. This will be the last one that we're giving away for a while now. Thank you also to all of the people that have already entered. Anyway my friends, thanks again so much for watching, subscribe to join the team, and have a great day.